Time in a local neighborhood means that a relatively new school might close and the children would be sent out of their community. Lincoln Heights Elementary, high on a hill overlooking the sometimes troubled village, could be shut down even before the school year is closed. Local 12th News reporter Jeff Hirsch joins us now live from the newsroom with more on the future of the school. Jeff? Well, good evening. The Princeton School Board holds a special meeting Monday night to decide the fate of Lincoln Heights Elementary. The district has already implemented safety measures like no more community usage of the building, no more field trips, no more volunteers and scheduled visitors inside the building. The question is, will that be enough? This is the old and deteriorating Lincoln Heights Elementary School. It's closed. And this, on a hill behind the old one, is the new $4 million, only about a decade old, Lincoln Heights Elementary School, which may be empty soon as well. In a letter to staff, district officials say they are gravely concerned about the safety of students, staff, and visitors due to random acts of violence. If so, the kids and staff could be transferred for the rest of this year to Woodlawn and Glendale schools. Lincoln yeah. Heights residents are concerned about crime, but also about their school. Regina Richardson grew up in Lincoln Heights, attended the old and now vacant school, and currently works as a health care aide in the neighborhood of newer houses in walking distance from the new school, which she says should not close. I think it's a shame. Uh, I, I haven't heard any crime being over there. It's, it's a shame. They need to stay and go to school where they live at. What would it do to the community if they closed the school? It would be devastating because a lot of these mothers don't have transportation and buses don't go all of Glendale now. It would be awful. The village is stepping up police presence at the elementary school. It used to be they had an officer there in the morning when the kids showed up and an officer there in the afternoon when the kids went home. Now they're going to have, actually they are having, an officer there all day at the school. Village officials tell me that they've been working with the Princeton District since last summer to coordinate safety plans and deal with concerns and they'll keep working with them to make sure the place is safe. There was a shooting in Lincoln Heights last week. It was not near the school. The district officials say it's part of an ongoing series of incidents. Besides the short-term possibility of moving the kids and teachers to Glendale and Woodlawn, long-term the district could redesign the school administration building in Sharonville and put the elementary school kids there or put the pre-kindergarten program there and move the other students to other buildings. Superintendent Gary Pack says the board does not want to close the school, but the random nature of violent crime is a threat. Three months ago, Pack says a school bus was hit by a bullet. No kids inside, but the driver was just missed. And in September, a three-year-old was shot. The shooter was trying to hit the driver of the car, but missed and hit the child in the back seat. The child was not killed, but obviously very scary. Back to you. No doubt. All right, Jeff, so the school year is almost over, obviously. Right. So even if they wanted to, could the school system actually get those kids, all of them transferred so quickly? Yeah, that's a good question. I asked the superintendent. He said yes. They do have the capability to do that. He says safety is the number one concern, although some residents who did not want to go on camera said there have been no incidents at the school itself and felt this may be an overreaction, but the superintendent says there's a big worry for staff driving to work and the random nature of the shootings is troubling. Back to you. All right, Jeff Hirsch reporting. Thank you. Now, a decision on closing Lincoln Heights Elementary has not been made yet. The school board is expected to decide what to do on Monday night.